This video is for informational purposes only. It should not be taken as medical advice. Always consult your doctor for their recommendations. Hydroxychloroquine. This is that so-called super drug that can actually counteract the COVID. It was used for like things like malaria and stuff like that. But there has not been one case where hydroxychloroquine was used alone and was successful. I mean, it's just not what you call the typical drug that says, this is it. It's not the magic bullet, the pill for every ill. It wasn't like that. The, what they noticed was the hydroxychloroquine, when it was with other supplements like zinc and other nutrients, then they had some success. So I started thinking, if you did not have the hydroxychloroquine, and just had only the zinc and other supplements, would that be effective against the COVID? Now, I'm not saying it was, but this is one thing I noticed. Zinc. Zinc has some benefits, but you also can have deficiency symptoms if you don't have enough zinc in your system. Now, zinc actually helps to boost your immune system. That's just the general thing it does. But it also is good for all kinds of enzymatic processes of your whole body. Okay, throughout everywhere. It helps with metabolism, helps with wound healing. It actually helps to uh, uh, lower, or should I say, lower the time frame if you have a cold or flu. That's why they have zinc lozenges, you know. And what is zinc lozenges made out of? They have zinc gluconate. Okay, that's a good form of zinc. But then there are better forms of zinc that you probably should put your eye on and say, you know what, if I'm going to get some zinc, I'm going to get some really good zinc. Zinc picolinate, that's a highly absorbable form of zinc. It's actually good to take at night. And the reason why is because it helps with you to sleep better. Yeah, zinc, that's, that's what it does. So if you are taking zinc picolinate, I guess the theory is, do you need to take as much? Because zinc, the RDA for zinc is, I think it's like 15 milligrams a day. And most of these supplements are like 30 to 50 milligrams per capsule. And if you're taking the zinc, at night, that will help you to sleep as well as wound healing, uh, fight inflammation, and also build up your immune system so that you can counteract the ill effects of illnesses, disease, viruses, and cold, stuff like that. But what about the effects of a zinc deficiency? It has been said, and even through research, that if you have a zinc deficiency, you could lose Drum roll, please. You can lose your sense of smell and taste. Now, why am I saying that? Because I noticed that's one of the symptoms of someone who had the COVID and then they got over the COVID. They lost their sense of smell and taste. So it just makes you wonder, can you imagine taking enough zinc? I'm not talking about RDA, not the 15 milligrams a day. I'm talking about maybe 30 plus a day, mainly at night, which may be your last meal. And then you're taking enough zinc in your system to boost your immune system and to get your body to heal like it should. We're talking about the wound healing aspect and also helping with your sense of taste and smell. The things that actually the COVID destroyed, if I could put it that way. And some people haven't got their sense of taste and smell back after months. So I'm just assuming, this is all assumption, that maybe they were zinc deficient not a hydroxychloroquine deficient. And I'm picking up that if we had maybe enough zinc, and I'm, not just, I'm just mentioning zinc. Now this is just one nutrient, one mineral. We have vitamin C, you know, you, you got all kinds of other nutrients that can help build immunity. But if we take zinc, I'm just mentioning that one thing because I know that every time they say hydroxychloroquine work, it was with zinc. And I'm picking up the hydroxychloroquine is a bunch of crock. It does not work. It's the zinc. <laughs> it has to be the zinc. I know some people will say, oh, you shouldn't talk about the hydroxychloroquine. You're not a doctor. You don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'm what you call a logical person. I try to put one and two together and I come up with three. <laughs> you might come up with something else. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but I do want people to understand some of the workings of this COVID. Now, moving along, what I want to do, oh, my wife just showed me. I hope you can see this. Now, I'm not sure if you're going to see it the real way. I'm going to try it. 
just look at it's like a go you get a lot i know that I, mean, no, I think it's 90 yeah if you wanted to pick up a bottle of a food-based zinc bacolinate superfood based supplement but just look how the label looks okay now stay tuned for the next episode leave a comment and share this video subscribe to get notifications for future episodes thanks for watching